Pleasure to be here, and uh, I just remember being here just a short while ago, a few, what about a year or so ago, two years ago now. Um, with the expansion you had then, of course, today we are celebrating the expansion of your, a further expansion of your facility. The government, of course, is very keen and very um, uh, supportive of such investments and the expansion of such investments. Of course, I'd like to thank Douglas Pharmaceuticals for having the faith in Fiji uh, to uh, want to expand the uh, facility in Fiji. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as you know, government has been very much at the forefront of driving economic growth in Fiji. Economic growth means the creation of new jobs, it means the improvement in the living standards of our people, it means things like free education, free textbooks, subsidized bus fares, and of course, with the scholarship system and the TELS program we've developed now for the education system. All of this actually feeds into uh, what we are seeing as opportunities that are new opportunities translating ordinary features on a daily basis. Uh, there's of course a need to be able to ensure that we continue to improve our services as government, uh, firstly both to our investors uh, such as Douglas Pharmaceuticals. Uh, we've had some issues that have been highlighted to us. Uh, how perhaps we can improve our services uh, to such investors and that of course uh, we will do. Uh, some of these things of course um, take place because of the fact of the lack of technology within government or perhaps because of the lack of uh, understanding of some of the regulators uh, to be able to keep up the pace with modern day practices. But nonetheless, they are not insurmountable issues. Uh, these are issues that we of course can deal with ultimately our objective is to ensure that people like yourselves have security of jobs, people like yourselves have an improvement in their working terms and conditions, and of course that we create more jobs, uh, and which is very utterly uh, important uh, for us. I uh, just was today, uh, this morning, um, at the completely different uh, opening, where we opened a new uh, women's prison in Latoka. And uh, it was interesting because in Fiji, since the colonial times, we've only had one women's prison. It was only based in Suva. So if, for example, a person who is a female convicted in Latoka or Vanua Levu or Ba or anywhere else, uh, they all had to go to Suva uh, to be you know, incarcerated in Suva. So they did not have families visiting them. Some of them used to have young babies. They could not breastfeed them. Um, and these are the sort of conditions that they faced. And as you know that those people who go to prison, they continuously need support. They need to know that the people outside actually will support them when they come outside. And uh, as a result of which, people tended to keep on continuously falling into that, um, what I call the vicious cycle of criminal activity. So today was very important because on, from Monday, about uh, 20 of those ladies who are actually from the West will move to Latoka. And immediately their family members can go and see them. Immediately they develop their connections with them. Now you may think, what is that got to do with your opening of this, of this uh, expansion of your pharmaceutical company? It has a lot to do with it. Because it is through investments such as this, the taxes that are being paid because of this, is because of the taxes we collect from everybody else, the economic growth that takes place, that we are able to expand these sorts of services. It's very important. You have a four laning of a road that comes out of Nandi Airport, you now have the Nandi back road that goes to Denarau. You now have footpaths all the way from Narewa village all the way to uh, Nandi airport. You have street lights. You see a lot more people walking around, people feeling a lot safer. How are we able to do that? It's because government has a focus on economic growth. It's because government is getting all the different agencies to try and work a lot better together. It's because we are improving government services through an open merit recruitment system. All of this actually combined to create that level of activity. So 
you yourselves, those of you who work here, are actually playing a very pivotal role in ensuring that we're able to continue with the uh, investment in such infrastructure. So thank you for your hard work. You're not only working for Douglas Pharmaceuticals, you're actually working for all our, the rest of the Fijian people. Because every single person contributes to that. If we have that partnership attitude, if you have a partnership attitude with your management, your partnership attitude with your company, with your partnership attitude with other fellow Fijians, then of course we'll be able to do a lot, do a lot better as a country. So thank you for your hard work. Thank you once again to Douglas Pharmaceuticals uh, for their faith and investment in Fiji. We look forward to ensuring that you continue to stay in Fiji and also continue to grow. Thank you very much and I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Naga, thank you. Materials will be required in softer area will be uh, will be lifted over here through the lifter, and then from there they're going to stage it in this room.